Okay, I am here in Kentucky, and I'm going to show you today how to uh, identify and treat uh, different diseases in your plants, and uh, mainly uh, fungi. Because as I said before, fungus is the number one problem uh, worldwide with uh, when it comes to damage to crops, you know, uh, damage to uh, plants and gardens, or even uh, potted plants like I have here. Now, one thing uh, you can do to uh, treat the soil beforehand to ensure that your plants uh, never have an issue with the uh, fungi, whether it be blight or root rot, is. the uh, actinovate right here and this is a completely organic uh, biological fungicide as you can see right there and that's the uh, good bacteria that's in it right there the streptomyces I think I'm saying that right and what you want to do with this initially is you're gonna want to treat the soil with it now you're going to want to take uh, one teaspoon of this and you're going to want to mix it with a gallon jug of water. You know, fill it all the way to the top, you know, mix it up real good. And you're, once you have that mixed up, you're going to want, out, want to start off by pouring it in the soil. Like this. And that right there, that's going to prevent any uh, root rot from happening, at least for some time, until you uh, do it again. Like, I'd recommend doing this to the soil uh, once every season change, so once every uh, few months. But to prevent things like blight, uh, you're going to want to use this as a foliar spray. So, the same mixture, the uh, one teaspoon to gallon ratio. Put it in a spray bottle like this. And now this is only preventative. This is not an eradicant uh, fungicide, so it's not going to kill fungus that's already present. I'm going to tell you what to do about that here in just a second. As you can see, this passion fruit leaf has some uh, yellow spotting there. And that's some early signs of blight, actually. And if you treat the leaves with the foliar spray, with the... Uh, Actinovate beforehand you're probably never gonna see that happen and uh, you're gonna want to use it as a foliar spray once a week uh, all through the growing season so uh, spring through fall all the way through fall and spray it on like so and you're gonna want to get under the leaves as well now if you have an issue with a plant that already has some fungi issues pretty badly what you're going to want to do with that is you're going to want to eradicate it, basically. And one thing that fungus cannot handle is a drastic change in a pH balance. And that is what the baking soda is for. And for it's pretty much the same ratio for a gallon of water. You want to put one teaspoon of baking soda. And you're going to want to use some kind of oil to put in there because putting the oil in there it is actually uh, or actually putting uh, the uh, dish soap in with the oil it's going to make the oil uh, you know be be pretty uh, mixed in throughout the water instead of just uh, going straight down to the bottom you know and besides one teaspoon of baking soda like I said use one uh, tablespoon of oil with it uh, you can use regular vegetable oil but I really recommend using uh, oil of oregano it actually has a lot of uh, antibacterial antifungal and even uh, antiparasitic properties to it so it's going to be a lot more beneficial along with the baking soda but with the baking soda and the oil you're also going to want to use one tablespoon I like to use a uh, more a uh, green based uh, soap more uh, organic soap but if you have something like regular Dawn with more chemicals in it, you're going to want to use a teaspoon instead of a tablespoon. Now, once you mix all that together, you know, swish it up real good, mix it up. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to put it in the spray bottle. And if you see any leaves that have any yellowing or any like brown or black spots, go ahead and definitely pick those off. Don't want it spreading to the rest of the plant.
And as you can see on this uh, past the flora actinia plant, I have a leaf here it has some uh, yellow spotting on it, and it's a little bit wrinkled. So go ahead, take a leaf like that off. See, it's just gonna fall off easily like that if it's uh, diseased in any way, and get rid of that. And with the uh, the baking soda, oil, and soap mixture, you're going to want to do the same thing. Spray it on nice and good. And you're going to want to do that about once a week as well. And uh, after that, you should see the uh, fungus completely disappear. Or at least it will not uh, spread to any new growth. Like uh, this plant here. You can see this is a very healthy passion fruit plant, you know, really dark green leaves. Wow, I did not notice this. This is actually its first trilobal leaf, its first uh, three-pronged leaf. So that's, that's a pretty good sign. That means it's uh, maturing pretty quickly because this has only been growing for about five months. This uh, black purple passion fruit. <laughs> But yeah, anyways, like I said, if you see uh, issues with blights, it's usually going to be some yellowing on the leaves or on uh, leaves that are more uh, deciduous and not evergreen like tomatoes. They're going to have more uh, black spotting on it. And you're definitely going to, as I said, get rid of all those leaves, pick every single one of them off that looks like it's diseased so it can't pass on to another one. Like this uh, purple passion fruit vine, it actually is having some issues, some minor issues with blight. You can see yellowing like that on the end of the leaf. You're going to want to just tear that off like that and get rid of it. Don't put this in the compost pile because uh, the diseases on it are still going to be active for a little while until it dries out in the sun and it's completely dead. So after you've taken every single one of those steps, you should see uh, a lot of really good improvements. Actually, you can use the, uh, the baking soda mixture uh, before you notice uh, your plants are diseased at all as a preventative measure. And as you can see, like this tomato plant it is extremely healthy. Dark green leaves, it's grown huge, nice blossoms on it. And I had to completely tear out my watermelon and uh, cantaloupe plants because uh, they had a major issue with blight. Pretty much all the leaves on them were dying and they would have definitely spread to uh, some of my other plants. Like my lemon drop melon vine here. It's actually pretty young, just a couple months old, but as you can see it already has a fruit forming on it. It has a melon. And I really cannot wait for that. They are completely delicious lemon drop melons. I'm not sure if they're a hybrid, like a honeydew cantaloupe hybrid. I'm not too sure, but they are uh, they're excellent. And if uh, you have them in your uh, local grocery store, definitely check them out. And with pepper plants as well, tomatoes and peppers, they could spread diseases uh, to each other because their uh, their genetics are pretty similar. As you can see, I got some yellowing on this banana pepper plant. And you're going to want to do the same thing. Just pick all those yellow leaves off. Like that. You see, this, this plant has really struggled this growing season. It just has one pepper on it. As you can see. And it hasn't been able to grow anymore. It's been hit pretty bad. But you can actually use the actinovate as a... Uh, preventative measure in your garden as well as soon as you put new soil in your garden put the uh, the one teaspoon per one gallon mixture and completely saturate the soil i'm talking about if you have to use a few gallons and a few tape in a few teaspoons uh, to do that definitely do it and as i said at least for uh, a couple months it's going to prevent any mushrooms any bad fungus from popping up And you could also use it on uh, pineapple plants like this one here. You can see it's starting starting to have a little bit of yellowing. So uh, 
and as I said I went ahead and pulled my watermelon and uh, cantaloupe plants out if you see plants that are just beyond repair like that you know that are you know have, that have all of the, all of its uh, foliage completely dying you definitely want to just pull those out too. and I know sometimes it's hard you know to pull up plants you love you know you want to give them a chance you want to see them fruit and all that but sometimes you have to make those hard decisions so um, definitely and you could use both of those mixtures that I showed you on pretty much any plants as a uh, good uh, preventative measure for uh, root rot using it in the soil and for blight and hopefully it'll work out well for you and you have some really nice healthy plants and they will fruit really well for you anyways until uh next video thank you guys for watching i hope this was uh pretty helpful to you and i will definitely be posting some more soon and this was uh john's tropical garden just hit the uh, like button or comments if you want and uh see you later thanks